Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Earthbound. In the last part, we went shop. We went exploring around Tucson. We did like a tour and stuff. Oh, um. Paula, Paula, where are you? It's time for your yummy pie. Slice of pie. Wait, is, is that. Let's get that butterfly right there so I can restore some of our PP. I think we have 20 PP right now, but I think we have more than that, so that's good. I think we have like 27. 40, actually. Cool. Nice. Okay, so. Um. I'm gonna actually. Wait. I'm gonna actually get some money out of my ATM. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna withdraw like 300 actually. That should be enough for now. I know things are getting really expensive in this game, at least certain things at least that are really valuable. I'm just gonna withdraw 300 for right now. Just so I have enough. But if I lose against this boss fight, that stink. <laughs> but I'll probably just restart the part and do a take two, I guess. If that happens, you know? I have options. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna go down to that Berglin Park or whatever. So, if I can find my way. No, nope, okay. Not that way, not that way, not that way, not that way. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Unassuming, unassuming local guy. Okay. Shove me or shove nest, that's great. Smash! Okay, there we go. Yes, there we go. Nice. I wasn't expecting to get in the wild counter though, but oh well. Oh well, it happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to go back to the park now. Uh, in fact, I was supposed to um, start the part at the spot I told you guys I was gonna do in the last part, but uh. I guess I'd, I'm glad I didn't because that cutscene with Paula's dad screaming pa Paula down in the streets. Gosh dang it, Texas, just go. Just go. I don't have the dogs barking, of course. I just want to go back to the park, man. That's all I want to do. Okay, so now we're going to take on this boss fight. Which is right there on the roof. Wah ha ha why don't you, why don't you chat later? Why don't we chat later after we're locked horns, after we've locked horns, okay. So this is, um, Everdread. So let's just bash him. Yeah, okay. Attacking 33 damage, HP to the teddy bear, okay. Attacking again to the teddy bear. Okay, I think one more hit is all the teddy bear can take now. Yeah. Bear became a pile of fluff, okay. So now I'm gonna use my PSI rocket and he's gonna attack us, okay. Oh, wait. oh he's attacking the other ch my next teddy bear. Dang it. Oh well. Hopefully, this, yeah, this takes him out, yeah. This is a pretty easy boss fight anyway. You already have PSI rocket at this point, so it's all good. 986 experience, wow. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berlin Park. Well, when I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, um, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know you. I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful West Valley. A chubby boy and a weird, and a weird guy in blue in a blue outfit had a uh, had kidnapped have kidnapped her though. I, they, wait, that that sounds familiar. <laughs> okay, they said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were, they were definitely hardcore strange. Yeah, you know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you so, if you save Paula, be sure to come back here. Okay, don't forget. I won't forget. Jeez, let's buy the um, the cool bracelet thing. Okay, hey Mon, you okay? I already talked to your dog. I said your dog. Okay. Um, let's do the copper bracelet. Yeah, copper bracelet. Thank you, Mon. Do you want me to equip it? Okay, yes, I do. 19 to 24, wow. And she priced it for $49? Yes, okay, cool. So, what, man, you actually. Is there anything else I can do? Need one? Um, no. Okay. So, after that, I'm gonna go back to the my bank account, and basically, I have $113. You need $200 for the next segment. I'm gonna withdraw, like, um, 100, I guess. Well, 90, I guess. 90 should be good. Yeah, 90. Okay, I'm gonna just withdraw $90 from my bank account. So I'm cut right here, and uh, I'll meet you guys back outside the hotel again. Okay, so we're outside the hotel again. We're gonna go to this Apple Kid house in Tucson, because we need to do that to progress in the game. So that's good. Okay. 
Make sure you have something, you have like food items too. Actually, I'm gonna buy a bag of fries and... Oh man, I have to go back to the bank account thing because I don't want to have $200 then. Dang it. I'll cut back to where I was at. Okay, right here, we're back. I have $202 right there. And then I have a bag of fries. That's my food item that I'm gonna give Apple Kid. So let's go into Apple Kid's house, which is right... Oh man, I'm... I got missed... Okay, I know where his, kid, his house is actually. I just took it wrong. I just didn't go far enough to... The, I didn't go far enough east, I guess, of Tucson, so that's what cost me. Okay, um, by the way, at Bolo here, this is the pizza shop, and, uh, it says they, if you talk to the cashier, Welcome to Mac Pizza. We don't sell pizzas here, we just only deliver. Um, let me give you our number so you can place it sometime. The best pizza Mac pizza number is pss, pss, pss. You got that? Okay. That's cool, I guess. And we can't make, we don't really receive a phone yet, so I kind of went out of order for this, but that's okay. And by the way, if we don't sell pizzas and only deliver them, then how come there's menus on the walls there? It's like, very odd. Okay, so, let me see if I can get to, um, where's Apple Kid's house? I know where it is, I kind of have a feeling where it is, I just don't have my town map anymore, because I s but told X gotta go express to, like, you know, uh, pick it up, I guess, and store it. But here's Apple Kid's house, I found it. Let's go to this house right here. Oh, this trash can right here. Look in the can. Okay, let's see here. There's a broken machine inside. Let's take it. Takes it. Okay, cool. Let's step to Apple Kid. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know um, it's a bit of a pigsty. But anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. <laughs> By the way, I'm starving. Do you have any? Do you have something to eat? If you do, I can. Can I have some? Sure. What can you give me? I'll give you a bag of fries. Thanks. It seems very nice. Uh, I wonder if, maybe, if you would like to invest in money, some money in my inventions. Yes. 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 Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, it could, I could really use two hundred dollars. Sure. Thank you. I would like to. I would let you. I won't shut down. You better not. And then that mouse just walks towards the door. To talk to him, I'm Ross. No one has um, given me a name yet. You too. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. And then finally, we get the receiver phone. Oh yeah, I must. I must be on my way. Zip. Must be anyway. Zip. Yeah, you, you were walking there, kinda. And that the receiver phone you can receive calls, but you can't like make calls or call out to it. You know, it's it's not a cell phone or anything. So. Kind of stinks. So I'm gonna take the um the the peaceful valley um valley place the next part. So I'm gonna make my bag back to the hotel. So yeah, I'm gonna st stop the part right here. So yeah, so this has been dry this has been the, my this has been the, my Earthbound Let's Play part. And next part we'll take on um I guess the peaceful valley where Paul should be near. So yeah, this is trying to go again. I would like to mention goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.